Hello, everyone. Welcome to join today's session. My name is Kai Ge Liu. I'm the director of Solution Architect at Caligence. Today, I'd like to share our understandings and experience on Metric Store. I will sh also share a case study from one of the largest banks in China. Before jumping into that, I'd like to start with a funny story from a movie called Rush Hour. It is about a conversation between a young man and an elder. The elder's name is Yu. Yu is a common last name in China. So the story started like this. The young man asked, who are you? The elder responded, you. No, not me, you. Yes, I'm you. Are you deaf? No. You is blind. I'm not blind. You blind. That is what I just said. So the funny part of this story <coughs> is that the pronunciation of Chinese last name Yu is exactly the same as English word Yu. In the conversation, they both seem to speak the same language, but have different understandings of the pronunciation Yu. Thus, the misunderstandings occurred. So the first time I saw this movie clip, I didn't realize things happened almost every day in our work, especially when we do data analytics in a large organization, where people in different teams tend to speak different languages. For example, active users it is a very common measure that we use to track the popularity of our products. However, uh, when we are saying active users, the understanding of this term could be different. For teams whose product may be used quite frequently, they normally define active users as users who use product every day. While there's no need to calculate active users for other products that are not used that frequently. For instance, car rental products and uh, real estate products. Nobody buys houses every day, right? Sometimes we know two things are not the same, but the difference is very minor. Here's an example. When we counting when we count something, the result could be totally different depends on how to count empty value. Should we treat it as none or zero? If the data engineers and analysts are not on the same page, it's going to be a big problem. Another case is that we both know we are talking about the same thing. The measure has the same name and the same definition, but inconsistent results may occur due to the quality of different data sources, like the marketing team and the sales team. They are using different data sources, although they are talking about the same thing, but they probably will have different results. The reason of this chaos is that people do not speak the same language when doing that an analysis. Everyone thought they are talking about the same thing while it's not the case. So how to solve the problem? We believe everyone in an organization should speak the same language. Metrics should be the language of organization and the business management. And they should be created, managed in a central place where people can easily access to. Just like a dictionary, all definition of words are clearly recorded. Whenever people got some confusions, they could simply go and look it up. Nowadays, more and more companies have realized the importance and the value of managing metrics. During the past few years, we have been working with a lot of uh, customers who try to build up metric layer. There are some co common challenges we gathered. They are business challenges, trust crisis, slow time to insight, and high cost. Let's go through them one by one. Let's take a look at the challenges on business side first. In many companies, data analytics and the business processing are loosely coupled. What does that mean? For example, let's say our business goal is to engage customers who have a great chance to churn. 
A common flow is like a couple of key metrics will be defined by analysts to reflect the customer activities. And then business users or analysts will keep monitoring the dashboard and decide to take actions to engage customers. Promotional actions could be sending emails or coupons or even directly make a call. However, how can you take those actions by just looking at a dashboard? How do you know the email addresses and phone numbers of customers? The dashboard can only show you some numbers. If the metrics can be consumed by some sort of applications and the following actions will be automated, <clears throat> it would significantly improve the efficiency of driving business. Another problem is that metrics are often only accessible in business intelligence tools. Nowadays, more and more machine learning and AI uh, applications are created to deliver insights in depth. Data visualization is no longer the only consumer of metrics. Reusing metrics in multiple applications is absolute a must have for today's data solutions. Lack of consistency of metrics is also a big challenge for organizations. In a lot of companies, different teams maintain their own data and business intelligence systems, resulting in inconsistent metrics definitions. This makes it very difficult for company to gain a high level view. For example, banks normally need to oversee the finance and the risk data, but they are usually managed and analyzed separately in different teams with different tools. Another challenge is trust crisis. Inconsistent metrics and inconsistent data may lead to a serious trust crisis in organizations. If there's no central place to manage metrics and the data, when metrics do not match across teams, it's very hard to identify which one is correct and people tend to blame each other. For example, when a salesperson checks the data in CRM and finds that there's a mismatch with the data provided by the analytics team, they probably will challenge the analyst result and ask the analysts to validate again. Meanwhile, the analysts will suspect that it could be a data issue and give it back to the data team. In the end, the poor data team have to double check the data and ETL jobs. It's very time consuming. It won't be a pleasant conversation whatever the fault is eventually. When a mismatch occurs, each team pays extra work to figure it out. This greatly reduces efficiency and places additional burdens on everyone. Data is only valuable when it can be trusted. We have spent hours in a management meeting debating whose metrics are correct before we start applying data governance and building up a metric store. Our energy and time should be should definitely be put on better places. Another challenge <coughs> that is often encountered in organization is the inefficiency of data analysis. It takes so long to gain insights from data. Lack of self-serve analytics capability is one of the major reasons that leads to slow time to insight. I will dip into this later uh, in the case study part. Well, <clears throat> besides that, the underlying computing and a query engine is also a big factor that impacts the insight speed. The efficiency of data processing and the performance of query will determine the efficiency of mining business value from data. We have seen so many cases where data platform is not well designed and optimized. Analysts have to go get a, get a cup of coffee and then wait a couple minutes for a report to be refreshed. High cost. High cost are often another challenges a business face. 
with the growth of business, more and more metrics need to be managed and maintained. Among them, many of these metrics are duplicated or similar. For example, we know that metrics need to be analyzed in combination with dimensions, like sales data. We need to analyze sales data, for example, revenue based on different dimensions such as region, product categories, data, and so on. This will lead to a very large number of metrics derived from one metric, which results in a lot of redundant calculations. Due to the lack of an Uni due to the lack of unified management, people are reinventing the wheels. Each team often has its own data technology stack. Use similar but not identical techniques to do similar things. Each team has their own data warehouse or data lake um, or data governance tools, OLAP, business intelligence tools, ETL tools, as more and more technical components are introduced, more and more people, resources, and hardware investment are re required. As the business grows, the technical complexity also increases, as well as your budget. That being said, how can we avoid or alleviate those issues? We believe the answer is metric store. Before entering the metric store, Let's review the architecture of current common data analytics platform. In general, data is extracted and lo <coughs> loaded from data sources into a data storage layer. It could be a data warehouse, a data lake, or a lake house. At this layer, data can be cleaned and transformed by performing complex SQL tasks. Further, the data can be modeled and processed according to business requirements, thereby generating a data mart containing business metrics. Finally, different downstream applications can choose and consume data accordingly, such as business intelligence tools, machine learning applications, etc. Well, the missing piece of this architecture is a central layer between the data layer and application layer managing metrics and providing same interfaces across different applications. Due to lack of this layer, <coughs> metrics are not governed well, which causes those issues we have discussed before. By introducing metric store, we can define, manage, maintain, and manage all metrics in a single place. The metrics here are abstracted as a separate layer and independent <coughs> of any downstream applications. The benefit of this is that metrics are not <coughs> tightly bound to any analytics application and it can be consumed by all downstream applications. Because all metrics are governed in a single place, problems such as metrics duplications and the inconsistency can be avoided. In addition to that, metric store should have the capability to allow business users to define and use metrics directly, achieve self-serve analytics. Next, I'm going to share a case study of metric store idea that we have built together with one of our customers in China. This customer <coughs> is one of the top 10 banks in China. They have faced most of those challenges we have discussed before. The major pain point they have is lack of self-serve analytic capability, which leads to a very long data development cycle. As business grows rapidly, more and more requirements are generated. Tons of analytics tasks are required to assist their business analysis and making decisions. However, to fulfill any new requirement from business team, analysts and data engineers have to take a long time to complete it. The average dev cycle is 12 days. Data team has to spend so much time to communicate with business team to understand their requirements, and then figure out where the data is, how to clean it, and how to transform the data, how to do the calculations. After figuring out those details, 
they ha they start <coughs> to write or update ETL jobs to prepare data. Not even mention how many back and forth are involved during the whole workflow. Sooner, the data team becomes a bottleneck. They no longer meet the pace of business growth. Actually, this bank has to keep adding engineers in data team, but it's not sustainable and it won't solve the problem. By introducing the metrics platform Pandora, we change the data language from SQL to metrics. It allows business users and analysts who are not familiar to SQL to create, update, manage metrics on their own in a user-friendly way. Greatly reduces the communications between business team and the data team. Meanwhile, Pandora platform also help reduce the development work for data team. Because most of metrics calculation jobs can be generated by intelligence augmented data engine automatically. With Pandora platform, the average data development cycle is reduced to five days. 50% time is saved and 90% development effort is saved. Here are some more outputs and numbers. There are in total more than 9,700 metrics running in the platform. With those metrics, over 7,000 dashboards are created by business users and analysts in a self-serve manner. Currently, over 5,000 users visit the platform every day and generate more than 40,000 queries each day. Among those queries, 90% can be answered less than five seconds. Here are some screenshots of Pandora platform. I will highlight two features of this matrix platform. The first one is their self-serve analytics capability. Business users could personalize their own metrics and the dashboard without working with data team. They can share metrics with other people, meanwhile reuse all metrics in the same semantic layer. Another cool thing of this platform is that it can recommend metrics to you based on your role and the projects you work on. Let's say you are new to this platform and you have no idea what metrics you could use. Don't worry, the platform will help you find something according to your user information. Based on the practice of building matrix platform with some customers and the theory of matrix store in the industry, Caligence has launched a new product, Caligence Zen. This product is positioned as a metric store, aiming to help customers better use metrics to drive business growth and solve various challenges encountered in the process of metrics management and data analysis. Powered by the capability of Caligence Core OLAP computing and query engine, Caligence then not only includes various advantages of metric store, but also has excellent query performance and concurrency capabilities. Zen provides a unified matrix catalog. It will manage the creation, update, change propagation, lineage, and version control of all metrics. At the same time, the calculation of the metrics will be automatically generated by the system without any, without write any code. Kench then helps organizations drive their business not only by managing metrics, but also associating business goals with the metrics. Metrics are just some numbers. Without understanding the business context, under those numbers, it cannot help decision makers take any actions. However, these are tons of metrics. How can bosses and the management team know how know all of these metrics? The key is to ident identify those critical ones. By setting business goals and associating them with critical metrics, decision makers can easily understand what metrics indicate and what to do as follow-ups. Zen itself also provides lightweight agile reporting capabilities, and users can directly implement 
data analysis and visualization within Zen product. At the same time, Zen can also integrate with mainstream business intelligence tools and provide APIs to, to any downstream applications for consumption. In addition to be a metric store, Zen uses Catalyst Intelligence Big Data Platform as the core of data processing of query and the query. The AI intelligence engine will automatically build data models according to the definition of metrics. Metrics calculation tasks will be generated without human interference. Besides that, Catalyst then will auto also automatically optimize the queries generated behind the metrics. Pre-process and build indexes for commonly used metrics, which greatly improves the query and analysis of performance. All right, that being said, who are you? I'd like to take a few minutes to quickly introduce our company, Caligence. I believe everyone here must know the Apache Foundation. Well, <coughs> Apache Kaling is the top open source big data project of Apache Foundation, providing users with ultra high performance data analytics capabilities on massive data. Currently, more than 1,500 companies around the world has adopted Apache Kaling. Caligence is a company funded by the core team of Apache Kaling to provide users with intelligent OLAP solutions on big data. Caligens and our solutions have been recognized by the industry and the media. We have won those awards in past few years. Most importantly, we have been trusted by the customers across various industries, including banking, insurance, retail, etc. All right, that's all the content I have for today. Thank you so much for your time. If you have interested with any of the technologies and the solutions we have uh, talked about and or, or if you have uh, any <coughs> ideas about the metric store please scan this QR code you'll get more information thank you see you next time